Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will show how to acquire a unique system platform authentication file from the AFS subsystem of rfa.avaya.com. In System Platform 6.0 and later, the license file is obtained from PLDS, the Product Licensing and Delivery System. We are seeing that many system platform installations, however, do not change out the default authentication file, which carries the AFID of 71 followed by eight zeros. This is the common default authentication file across all system platform installations. This could be viewed as a security concern if not changed out. The focus of this video will be to acquire a unique authentication file for installation on System Platform. The security key contained within that file will be shared with the other applications installed in the application template that use authentication through ASG. We will look at the AFS subsystem of RFA and generate an AFS file. We'll look at the delivery methods to receive that file that can be later installed on a System Platform based product. To start, we need to go to rfa.avaya.com. I will do that now. I have logged into rfa.avaya.com, and from the main page, you have access to the AFS subsystem by pressing the button entitled Start the AFS Application. Please note the RFA alert in the yellow box detailing the other products that are still currently supported by RFA. Clicking the Start button takes us to a screen that details the need to agree to viewing and protecting confidential information. Clicking Agree takes us to the first screen of AFS, which we need to select the product and the release for which the authentication file is to be generated for. There are several choices, as you can see. The one we are interested in is the one choice labeled SP System Platform. The next step is to select the version of the file desired. There is only the 6.x choice, so we will select that. I have pressed Next to proceed to the Authentication File Delivery Screens. In the File Delivery Screen, there are two choices. One to deliver a new file to a new system, and the other choice is to re-deliver an existing file that was previously delivered. That would be used in the case of a maintenance replacement for an example. We have selected the new system option and pressed next to go to the final screens. This delivery screen allows for the file to be emailed or downloaded to your PC. The last input that needs to be done is to enter a fully qualified domain name for the applications listed. I have used an FQDN of systemplatform.avaya.com. Personally, I find the email delivery option the most useful, but you can use the download the file to your PC option if desired. I have sent the file via email to my handle. The last screen provides a summary of the AFID and the type of file that was delivered. What is shown now is the email that the newly created authentication file was delivered in. The text in the email details that the file can be viewed with a text editor, but be very careful to not to change anything as this will corrupt the file. Save the file to your hard disk for use in the installation process as I am doing here. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at Mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.